What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mo the Bearded Shark and thank you so much for coming and checking out another one of my videos. Today we're not going to be talking about beard oil, beard butter, or beard balm or anything that goes inside your beard but we're going to be talking about tools. It's officially beard season y'all so I get questions all the time around this time which comb I recommend, uh, what I don't recommend and yada yada and should you buy a comb from the grocery store or the Dollar General and use it on your beard or if you shouldn't, what are the two top quality beard combs or beard brushes you can buy? I got them right here in my hands. We got the Chicago comb right here, y'all. And then we have the Kent comb. We have the Model 9T in the Kent comb. And then we have the Model 6 in the Chicago comb. Now, obviously, right off the bat, you guys can see two different materials. You get the carbon fiber from the uh, Chicago comb and then from the Kent comb. Um, I forgot really what kind of material you use, but it kind of feels like plastic to me. Um, but we're going to talk about the difference between them. We're going to look at the website and see what variety of different combs that you can choose from. Durability and which one of these I'm going to stick with and one I'm going to eliminate. Before we get started, y'all, make sure pressing that subscribe button would really, really be helpful for me. I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment below. That's how YouTube works, man. If they see you guys engaging, they'll push this video out. And it may help one or two or 300 people out there. Make sure you press that notification button so you won't miss out on any videos coming out in the future. But anyways, guys, let's take the websites first. And then we'll talk about which one I recommend. All right, so checking out chicagocomb.com, you can see um, right here, we're going to click on bestseller. Um, they really just sell their uh, carbon fiber package, the Pick 2 or the Pick 7. Um, I didn't really see anything else other than combs and just little small brushes with handles on the website. So not much of a variety for you to choose from. Instantly, you can see on Kent Combs' website, they advertise more than just combs. So they've been around for a long time. You can see proudly on top that they've been around since 1777. They got stuff for thin, curly, textured hair, curly to wavy, even for children and then all hair types. So they advertise or they promote more than just beard combs. But let's click on men and let's click on the handmade combs. That's what brought me to Kent Combs before. And when we scroll down, you can see there's a variety of different combs for you to choose from. Some that have handles, uh, small teeth, or um, then you have wide tooth as well. So definitely Kent Comb wins as far as amount of variety of products or combs and brushes to choose from. So we took a look at both websites and you guys can see that both of them offer different styles of beard tools for your beard or even for your hair. So I think the Kent Comb has a little bit more of an advantage on that end as far as like a variety of different brushes and tools to choose from. You have anywhere from round brushes to combs. But then also at the same time, you have the Chicago comb, which is basically what they are is combs for your beard. And some people you guys see on the website use them on their hair, but they got picks and they got wide and they got, you know, fine tooth. With this, you have the same thing. You have wide, fine tooth, and you have um, different variety or styles of brushes. And Kent Comb has been around for longer, as you guys can see. But does longer mean better in the long run let's take a look all right one thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mess up my beard real quick so you guys can see i'm gonna just brush this out and mess up my beard as much as i can and then we're gonna see which one styles my beard better i don't think my beard is gonna get any messier than that we're gonna start off with the chicago comb again this is model number six right here y'all but you guys can see let me get closer to the camera you guys can see it's just gliding through my beard and it really is doing a good job on brushing my beard down, getting those flyaways and just not, it doesn't feel cheap at all. This comb is very lightweight and just glides through my beard. No static whatsoever. Um, I wish the teeth were just a itty bit closer to each other so I can get like a little bit more tension. What I like about the Chicago comb is that I feel like it adds a little bit more volume to my beard. Let's try out the Kent comb and then we'll see which one I like the most. So again, I'm trying to mess up my beard as much as I can. 
so I can see which one styles my beard a little bit better. So now we're going to take the Kent comb and we're going to really just comb down. And this one right here does pull a little bit more. I've had issues with the Kent comb in the past where it does snag and it hurts. I'll tell you that much. But it does a better job on far as like putting tension on the beard. So if you need something that's going to really hold your beard down or really comb it down, I feel like the fine teeth on the Kent comb works slightly better than the Chicago comb. This is one of those, I'll see right there, it just, it just pulled my hair. Um, this is one of those combs that I'm not going to just really fast and harshly uh, brush my beard with because it will pull your hair. One thing I don't like about the Kent comb is the fact that it leaves fingerprints because of its glossy look. I find myself having to wash the Kent comb quick or more than I do the Chicago comb. Durability, I've had this Kent comb right here for probably about three going on four years. I never had any issues. Um, this is definitely not something I'm gonna bend and see how um, durable it is, but it has warped a little bit. And I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera or not, but it does like warp right here. So whenever I lay it down, it's wobbly, it doesn't sit still. And that could be from me washing it multiple times throughout the years. The Chicago comb, man, I've put this through the ringer. I don't know how many times I've washed it. It looks the same. It's very durable. The one problem I do have with the Chicago comb is I wish the fine teeth were just a little bit more finer or closer together. But overall, when it comes to both of these, I don't think as a consumer, you would go wrong with getting either of these combs. Now for me, for my beard, if I had to choose one, beginner or non-beginner, it doesn't matter if you are a person that's grown their beard out for 10 plus years or 10 plus days, I think I'm going to say the Chicago comb rules right now when it comes to the brand that you can use for your beard care. One, I know a lot of people get scared whenever they use a comb that it's going to snag or it's going to take a lot of, or you're going to shed a lot. I don't get a lot of sheds. I don't get snags at all with the beard comb from the Chicago comb. This one right here, I would say is the superior when it comes to the combs for you to use. I'm not saying, hold on now. I'm not saying the Kent comb is bad and they do have a more variety. Again, they've been in the game way longer than Chicago comb, but longer doesn't mean wiser or better. I feel like that if they took the time and just changed the material of their combs where it doesn't snag as much, or maybe if they're gonna advertise a static free, really truly make it static free because I've had issues with this giving me static, not only with this comb right here. Also have the O2 right here, which is more of like a pocket comb. I've had some issues with static. Um, now between these two combs right here, I like this one because it's a baby comb and I can just throw it in my glove box or I can throw it in my back pocket or in my backpack and it's just there. It doesn't take up much room. Overall, if I had to choose one, if you're going to go spend some money on some uh, beer tools or combs and they're both pricey also, they're not cheap. I'm going to nine out of 10 times recommend Chicago comb over Kent comb unless you're not looking for a comb and you're looking for a different style brush then I'll tell you to go to Kent Comb. So that's it guys, Chicago Comb versus Kent Comb. Chicago Comb wins for overall best value for your beard, overall durability, overall style and volume. I feel like the Chicago Comb does a better job, but again, you guys can get either one and you can't go wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always guys, stay bearded, duh.